Thank you for coming, James Dyson. Good to see you again. Good to or be Sir here. James. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the secret to this cordless vacuum? Well, it's cordless for a start, right. which means you don't have to unwind the cord, right, find right. a plug to put it in, use the machine. So, but why haven't we had this afterwards. before? Because, because you can't make cordless machines powerful. Uh -huh. But we have, by developing these really interesting electric motors that go four times faster than anybody else's motor. Mm -hmm. And speed means that it can be very powerful and very efficient, yet very small. So that's really the big key to it all. What is your core competence? What is it you do better than everything else? We develop new technology. You? Yeah, yeah. me and my 1,500 engineers <laughs> uh, and some universities um, develop new technology that makes something do something okay. better. And we see problems and difficulties and restrictions, and we develop technology to overcome that and then put it into a product that performs and works better. But Sir James, Charlie is on to something with that question about you. Because you, you always said as a kid you wanted to be, you were different. You were a different kind of kid. You're always looking for what? And different how? What do you mean? Well, when I was a kid, I just wanted to do something different. So when they said, does anyone want to play the bassoon, I put up my hand because I didn't know what it was and everybody else was doing violins. So I've always wanted to be different as a child. And when I grew up, that translated, when I became an engineer and a designer, to wanting to do different and better things. Mm -hmm. you, know, you, want to, you want to change the world. I and mean, that sounds very grand, but you want to do something that no one's done before. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to do. And I've built up this wonderful group of engineers and scientists around me who believe in that. And they're all very young. And young people are brilliant because they've got no... Young people are brilliant, yes. <laughs> because they've got no what? But because they've got no experience. Oh, okay. Good. Experience yeah. is such a dreadful thing because it limits you. Yeah. It's, uh... What I love, the men in my family do the vacuuming too. Um, my dad and, and my son do the vacuuming. And you did the vacuuming growing up. And there's my son right there at work. You, you vacuumed when you grew up. And you said, why, does, why can't it be better, right? Yes, exactly that, because I remember the stale smell of dust and it not picking things up and the screaming noise. And so 20 years later, when I bought the world's most powerful vacuum cleaner, I realized it was doing the same thing mm -hmm. as when I was a child. It wasn't working properly. And that's what made me angry, actually, mm -hmm. and that's what made me develop something So in better. full disclosure, I own this vacuum already, the cordless vacuum, but this is a new model. How is it better? Well, I'm afraid it's twice as powerful, because this latest motor we've done, although it's the same size, is twice as powerful as our previous one. Mm -hmm. So you get twice the power. We've upped the batteries by using cobalt magnesium instead of iron. Mm -hmm. the, the iron and lithium ion, so we replace the iron with cobalt magnesium. That gives us 50% more power. So it's, and we've added two layers of cyclones, so we separate the dust better. We've actually got 15 cyclones. You understand now? I mean, so, I mean no, it's really fascinating that a vacuum cleaner is this innovative. It's, it's, it's amazing. Well, yeah, but it's exciting. And, and you see, we reinvent ourselves all the time. We're never satisfied. Yeah. We're like the unsatisfied but, engineer. He's always got a better idea around the corner. Mm -hmm. But despite the fact that you're an engineer and you've got lots of engineers working for you, you also have a design aesthetic. I mean, you really care about the look of things, yes? Yeah, I was trained as a designer and then became an engineer. Right. But, you know, design is something that's just in you. It's everywhere. It's not what you do at the end. You don't come along at the end and style something. Yeah. It's in everything you do, the clothes you wear, the building you work in. You never met Steve uh, Jobs, but you had a, no. a kind of, you would send him your products at one point. Yes, yes. And, and he, he would send, send you. Me, he sent me ours, yes. But Did I, people yeah. ever think you were imitating Steve Jobs? I hope not. I mean, uh, <laughs> and I was, I mean I'm an engineer. I was, I was doing my own thing in, in a much less glamorous business. I mean, I deliberately chose vacuum cleaners because they were boring. I like that you, no the vacuum cleaners are boring. That yeah. were good, and no one was developing any new technology. Billion dollars later. Yeah, yeah, I, was right. I was six and then 26 and nothing had changed. They were still using bags. I like that you use the young people, though, too, though, because most yes. people think engineers boring, but you're saying oh, no. That, no, ours are absolutely yeah. wonderful. They're yeah. brilliant with either. ideas, no experience. Really... And you should see the outfits they come in in the fancy dress part. <laughs> they're, they're so creative. And, Sir Dyson, another interesting thing, the bristles that you changed on mm. this. Tell us about that. I mean, it's fascinating. Yeah, well, what, what have I yeah. discovered? I mean, we've got carpets and hard floors. It's about 50-50 in the home. Yeah. And no one's done a vacuum cleaner to clean up on hard floors. Yeah because dust sticks to the floor by static on a hard floor. And you know vinyl records, you clean those with a carbon fiber bristles to break the static. And that's exactly what we put in our, in our vacuum yeah. cleaners. And you know, dusty footprints going across the floor, it'll pick those up. I didn't know a vacuum cleaner was so detailed. Did yeah. you leave any behind? Are you leaving any behind? <laughs> I'm sure, well, actually, the, like, we cleaned up the sofa, and I think <laughs> we do need a vacuum cleaner in here. So well, thank you. <laughs> First time in, in a two while, years that it's been cleaned. Yeah. Thank you very much. Vacuum thank cleaners you. have been very good to you. Oh, yeah, they have indeed. <laughs> and and for thank many you very of us much. Too, yeah. Yeah.